What's up, people? Oh, Lord, what's up? Sunday morning, Sunday morning. How's everybody? I O B A. I'm T C. So check this out. I gotta adjust this a little bit, right? Funny thing. I ain't got no crew. It's just me here, man. There we go. All right. There we go. Whatever. Anyway. So we've been having a rough couple of days, a rough couple of goddamn days. Um, two really bad mass shootings in, in, in less than, what, 24 hours? Um, you know, all this shit, you know all this shit coming from, don't you? It's all coming from the heart of y'all's president. Y'all know that's where the shit coming from. Anybody, anybody that says anything different is deluding themselves or just straight up lying. It's coming from y'all president. Donald Trump is the cause of this new wave of, of I want to use the term, high magnitude mass shootings. Because there's mass shootings every day in this motherfucking country, damn near. I mean... On average, more than more than more than one a day. I mean, we we just over half 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 a year in, just over just no, we're eight months in because it's August. We're eight months into 2019, and there's already been 250 mass shootings. Mass shooting, I guess they define it as a shooting where four or more people get shot at one incident, something like that. But what we're seeing here now is these white boys with these assault rifles going up, shooting up crowded places and, and places where a lot of people gather. You had the garlic festival. Then you had the El Paso shooting. And now you got um, the El Paso shooting. The walk where they was at the shopping center, the Walmart. And now you got this one where they had the club. And white boys coming in there with fucking assault rifles and dumping on people. That's why you can believe you you you, you can bet it'd be a safe bet that a lot of that so-called shooting that you're seeing and happening in Chicago that they keep highlighting, a lot of that shit is being perpetrated by white people. A lot of them. And when you tell somebody that, they think you bullshit, or they think you lying or making shit up. But like I said, all of this shit is coming out the heart and the mind and the mouth of Donald Trump. All of them. This one dude, one shooter, he had to be the guy from um, El Paso. He, he, he wrote a manifesto like Dylan Roof. And, and you know, he kind of claimed that he had these fucked up feelings way before Trump came into power. Well, a lot of motherfuckers got them fucked up feelings before Trump came into power. Trump just made it so that they think that they, you know, got the support of his administration and got the support of the president in order to carry out something they've been wanting to do for a long time. So a lot of motherfuckers have these feelings before Trump came into power. And now... He said something in that manifesto about being against big corporations and shit like that. But going out and shooting up a bunch of people ain't got nothing to do with big corporations. If you're going to be a domestic terrorist, terrorize somebody who really did something to you. These motherfuckers can't be described in any other way. Domestic terrorists. And they out there looking for them black identity extremists. I remember that, right? Jeff Sessions, black identity extremist. Jeff Sessions didn't talk like that. His shit was more country, but that's all I got. That's my white guy voice. But anyway, they was out there looking for black identity extremists. Got the FBI all focused on us because somebody done heard some conscious people speak and they done got scared that the niggas is getting restless. So they turned the focus on us and the white boys can do whatever the fuck they feel like doing. So anyway, this all comes from Donald Trump. All of this 
This is all his his uh, platform. This is all his preaching. This is all his demonizing of people who don't look like him. This is all encouraging that fascism and that and that white supremacy that he loved to do so much. This is all him. Now I don't know who to say to vote for because I haven't heard the right things being said yet by any of the candidates. But if you leave Donald Trump in office for four more years, you're going to get four more years of this bullshit. And keep in mind, I ran across a piece today about the number of fucking high cabinet positions that Donald Trump don't even have filled. So he don't even have people in, in proper places to deal with this domestic terrorism. He don't really have the, the, the top um, what, department heads in place to really find out why white supremacy is running amok like this. But I take that statement back because they do know why it is. Just like I know why it is. Why white supremacy going crazy. Because Donald Trump is sanctioning that shit. Every time he talk about Mexicans and uh, shithole country statements and, you know, vermin infested cities and all of that. He talking, that's cold for black, black people. And brown people, but black people. I say and brown people because that's who getting hurt down in Texas and down in uh, southern, at the southern border. But... I'm not really in that fight. I'm in this fight. But I digress. I'm going to move on from that. What I really want to talk about is the fucking guns. I made a video about two years ago. I made a video about two years ago talking about how I, I me, TC, as president, will handle the gun problem in the United States. It's over on Black Junction. You got to dig for it. It's about two years old, if it's still there. But I'm going to put up another one because it bears repeating. Well, I came up with this. I think it was like, like if I was president, I'd have like 15 changes that I would make to the gun laws that would make it really inconvenient to have a gun in your house. Because, see, now I know a lot of people don't agree with this. But I'm anti-gun. I'm not a gun person. Not a gun person. And the reason I'm not a gun person is because I don't, I don't think human beings as a species now, black or white or yellow, have evolved enough to where we won't try to kill each other if we have the power to. We haven't, we haven't evolved to that point yet. So having the power of life and death in your hands is not something... The average human being should be able to do. Because we just ain't ready yet. So that's my feeling about about guns. But anyway, they out there. Billions of them. And people just want to buy more and more. And every time one of these shootings happen, the mo one of the answers is get more guns out there. I don't know what America has more of, guns or cars. I have to check that out. But my thing was, them assault rifles that them two white boys had, they, they, they were bought legally probably. I know the one in, um, the one in, uh, where the first shooting was? In Dayton, Ohio, in, in, San, in uh, El Paso. No, I'm sorry, let me get it right. The one that the kid used to shoot up the garlic festival festival, that gun was bought legally. So when motherfuckers say, if you take the guns away, only criminals will have guns? No, because the good guys got guns, and they turn into fucking criminals. Either that, or they just criminals who are emboldened when they get themselves a nice gun. You see. Them AK-47s would have been about $15,000 a piece. And them AK-47s would have had a $450 yearly registration fee. 
and every bullet fired out of them four out of them AK forty seven would have been like four five hundred dollars a round. Remember that old joke Chris Rock had where he said, "I blow your fucking head off if I could afford the bullets." That's Chris Rock right there. I be on that kind of shit. Big big yearly rent that go up. I use that money collected from from gun fees and gun registrations and gun licensing and gun surcharges and ammunition surcharges and and extra taxes. I stack that motherfucking shit so high you would only the one percent if they wanted a gun would get a gun. And law enforcement, I would change law enforcement, but that's another video. Because my cops, and really, I'm going to say it right here, they're not my favorite people. I don't think they're anybody's favorite people. But my cops would be totally different from the motherfuckers you got working now. Totally different. Wouldn't even be the, they wouldn't even look the same. They wouldn't even look the same. But I digress from the cops' point. But the guns and the ammunition and the shit that people could just walk into Walmart and fucking buy? Oh, hell no. That type of shit right there, you got to have all kinds. And you got to take a motherfucking psych test every year that you got to pay for. If you shoot somebody on accident, you going, it's a mandatory jail sentence. If you shoot somebody on purpose, you're going away for life. Because I'm not going to be putting people in jail for victimless crimes. Right? I'm going I'm to say that for the fucking guns. For the gun crimes. I'm going to all the motherfucking... In other words, I legalize fucking drugs. See, that's me. I legalize drugs because drugs... People don't sell drugs. Drugs sell they sell. That's just like when people say guns don't kill people. People kill people. That's their defense. Well, I'm going to say this. Drugs sell they sell. So I'm going to let the drugs, I'm, I'm going to get off the motherfucking drug war titty. And I'm going to get off the motherfucking um, uh, uh, regime change war titty. And I'm going to focus right here on the war that's going on in this country. And I'm going to go ahead and do, do these gun laws totally different. And I got in trouble for that. People talk shit to me for that. But I don't give a fuck. That's why I don't go in the comment section to fuck with people. Because I'm not here to argue with motherfuckers. I'm not here to debate with motherfuckers. This is how I would do it. The AK-47 would be like, what I say, 15 grand. And that's at the base model, the cheapest. Right? And then you got to register that motherfucker every year. I said every year, but I'm cut that back to every six months. You got to register that bitch at $450 a pop. And the ammunition would be four, five dollars $500 a round, depending on what... Um, caliber it is you feel me and and um, my changes don't get no better f from that point on because guns are dangerous guns give idiots the power to wield life and death and I don't give a fuck who they is they just ain't evolved enough to wield that kind of power It's just that simple to me. Now, motherfucker, jump on the on the comment section. Yeah, nigga, but if somebody put a gun on your face, blah blah blah, I'll shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear that shit. I just be a DMF. But I'm telling you right now, that's what would solve and deal with the fucking gun problem in the United States. Make guns the most inconvenient and costly motherfucker item in your in your life even cost you more than your ex-wife and child support is your fucking gun it might not cut guns out all the way but it'll goddamn sure take take a lot of guns out of circulation a lot of them i'd say 60 70 80 percent of them be out of circulation Oh, yeah, and, you know, you add some good shit on, like a big buyback program where you get a fucking cheap gun and give a motherfucker way more money than it's than it's worth just to get rid of it. That kind of shit works, too. But shit got to change. Motherfuckers is dying, and it ain't getting no better. TC, and I'm out.